Aljamain Sterling versus Mosai Evloyev. Who's going to win this fight? Well, before we talk about who's going to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Aljamain Sterling fought Sean O'Malley, in which both started out very slow in round one until Sean O'Malley dropped and put a lot of punishment on Aljamain Sterling and the rest ended up and stopped the fight in round two. And after this, Aljamain Sterling went on to fight Calvin Cater at UFC 300, in which Aljamain Sterling took control of the whole entire fight with his wrestling, grappling, and ground game, and obviously Aljamain Sterling ended up taking it by decision. Let's take a look at Moza Ivloyev's latest performances, in which he fought Diego Lopez, in which Diego Lopez robbed Moza Ivloyev in round one. But then Moza Ivloyev brought it back, had a lot of ground control, completely outlanded Diego Lopez, and obviously Moza Ivloyev ended up taking it by decision. And after this, Moza Ivloyev wanted to fight Arnold Allen, in which Moza Ivloyev started out great, rocked Arnold Allen in round two. Moza Ivloyev's wrestling, grappling, and striking was great, and he obviously ended up taking it by decision. Now this fight is very simple to predict because we know that both men have a similar game plan as we know that Aljamain Sterling does his best work when it comes to wrestling and grappling and we also know that Mozart Evloyev is also very skilled and dominant when it comes to wrestling grappling and taking control on the ground. So that's where it becomes interesting because it's going to be interesting to see who dominates who when it comes to grappling but when it comes to fighting on the feet there's a clear winner and that is Mozart Evloyev. And the reason I say Mozart Evloyev is because we have seen better moments of Mozart Evloyev staying busy on the feet. He has shown that he has a speed, power and IQ. Meanwhile with Aljo he's not really dangerous on the feet, he's very beatable. Because if we take a look at Mozart Evloyev, well, we always see that there's always a risk of him dropping and hurting his opponents. Meanwhile, with Aljo, you're not really at risk of getting beaten on the feet. You most likely just have to be careful of the takedowns that are coming at you. But besides that, if you're really quick on the feet, it's very possible that you could outperform Aljamain Sterling when it comes to striking. So in the end, that's what I believe is going to happen in this fight. I believe that whenever it comes to fighting on the feet, Mozart Evloyev is going to outperform and outland Aljamain Sterling. But when Aljamain Sterling shoots for takedowns, that's what we're going to have to see if Mozart Evloyev can defend Aljo's takedowns. And the same goes for when Mozart shoots for takedowns. We'll have to see if Aljamain Sterling can defend and Mozart's takedowns but in the end I got Mozart Evloyev winning this fight and most likely by decision since we know that he's known for going all rounds and then now that he's fighting Aljamain Sterling who has a similar skill set and style this fight is almost 100% guaranteed of going all rounds.